how to alphabetize your friends list. Why do you think it would be beneficial for you to have your Facebook friends list in alphabetical order? So if you're anything like me, guilty as charged, I know that when I'm looking through my Facebook friends list, there's many, many people there that I've forgotten about. I'm like, oh, snap, I forgot about you. I didn't even know you were on my friends list. That's one reason. I don't want to lose touch with people that I care about. And I know you're probably thinking, well, if you care about that person, how could you easily forget it? We're human. I'm human. It's possible. We're all moving at such a fast paced. We're all very, very busy. So that's one really important reminder of you want your profile and your brand and your presence to keep attention because the minute you become boring or irrelevant to your audience, they forget about you, just like I've forgotten about some people on my friends list. So if you have them alphabetized, you can literally scroll through and be like, okay. So if you're networking, which you should be doing, I do. And I have my clients, especially in my mindset, money, motivation masterclass. One of the things on our DMO is spending period of time this much to be exact networking with your current friends list, nourishing, cultivating those relationships and having quality conversations because you have to determine who stays and who goes. So if you're working with the A's today, boom, you could pull it up, hit the A's and okay, you know, in your head tomorrow, we're going to work with the B's or work backwards. I've done that before. I've started with anybody on my friends list who begins with the letter Z and I work backwards. So this is gonna help you prime your algorithm, reconnect with people. So let me share my screen because what we're going to do requires you to be able to look over my shoulder. All right, so this is the part where I told you it's not at all what you think it's gonna look like. So here's the caveat. We don't control Facebook. We can't go in and alphabetize our friends list. Facebook is in control, okay. So what you want to do, again, you could do this from your mobile device. I will check, but you should check too. Um, I'm on my desktop for obvious reasons. And we're going to go to settings and privacy. We're going to go to settings. Your Facebook information. Okay. This is exactly where we're going. Settings. Your Facebook information. Now, what we're going to do is this here that says download your information. That's what we're going to do. We're going to click view. And now I'm going to create a file. Facebook is going to get it together for me and it's going to deliver it to me through my email inbox, whatever email you have linked to your Facebook account. So what you can request, if we scroll down, I can request my posts. Keep in mind, you can um, go through all of my data or you can go through a customized window. So this could be since eternity, right? Since Facebook, since the inception of Facebook, or you can say, hey, I want all of this data just for the last week or month by month. So if you see value to this, then go for it. But I want you to keep in mind, it's going to be a very, very large file, depending on the data that you're asking for. Friends. So if I click just friends, Facebook is going to deliver me a CSV file. That is a spreadsheet of all of my Facebook friends currently. I want that. So I'm going to keep that checked. Your stories. If you want your stories. Now, if you don't know, I can help you find your story archive and you can see every single story that you've ever posted. You don't need this email to you. You're following or your followers. So do you want to know all of the people that are following you and that you're following? If so, go for it. Events, 
your profile information, pages that you're an admin of, marketplace, so the things you've posted for sale, payment history, and it goes on and on, right? So for the sake of time, I'm gonna uncheck everything. You can simply go through this when you choose download your information, uh, rewards, campus, news, account center, trash, interactions, gaming. All right, so the only thing that should be checked at this point is friends, because that's what we want. Then we're gonna scroll up. I want it in a, let's say HTML, high quality, all of my data. Then we're gonna click create a file. Now what you see here, a copy of your information is being created. Depending on how many friends you have on your friends list is going to determine how long it takes Facebook to compile all of the data and send it to you. So I'm gonna go into my Gmail just for a second so I can show you Facebook. Okay, so very quickly, I got an email here from Facebook that said, thanks for requesting a copy of your Facebook information. Once we finish creating your file, we're gonna send you another email letting you know that it's complete and ready to be downloaded. You're ahead of the curve here, you know what's going on. Once your file is ready, you're gonna come back to the same spot right here. And how we access that was settings and privacy, your settings, and then your Facebook information, okay? We're gonna view, download your information. And when the file is ready, we can click on available copies. Oh, look at this, I got an information. Your Facebook information file is ready to download. So it's already ready. So we're gonna click on available copies. This one here is my available copy. It says pending, so if I refresh it, because Facebook just emailed me again and said it's ready. See how it turned red? It means I have one available copy that I've done nothing with at this point. So what I would do here is I would download this file. I'm gonna enter my password for security, submit, and it just downloaded. All right, there we go. So give me one second. So what I have here is I have my Facebook friends list. Let me double click this. All right, and it opened up the CSV file, my spreadsheet with all of my friends. And so obviously when they are dropped to you by Facebook, they are not in alphabetical order. So all you would have to do is select your column and alphabetize it yourself. So you can sort and filter A through Z, right? So when you click on that, it automatically alphabetizes every single person on this list for you. So for my neurotic brain, I wanted to go through my friends list one by one and recultivate those relationships. And I started with the A's. So I will open that. I'll sort it A through Z and boom, your Facebook friends list is in alphabetical order for you. Did I deliver or what? There is so much value in this exercise for your business. It's like, dang, all right. So now I'd start with this person. I simply copy the name, right? I would go to Facebook and I would look at this person's profile to see if it's somebody, is this someone who is really your target market, your target client? Is it a friend or a family member that you just don't want to remove from your friends list? Or is this someone who maybe at some point you had on your friends list, but really it's, it's, there's no value. I am not saying there's no value in this person because there is absolutely. And obviously, but if this isn't a person that you're ever really going to connect with, that you're going to engage with, that you never, ever, ever see each other's posts, it's really irrelevant for this person to be on your friends list. I'm sorry, you need to unfriend the person and move on. Your friends list needs to be safeguarded by you and it needs to be people who are actively participating in your life and in your business. So 
I'm going to end it there because I kept you for so long. But one, was this valuable to you? Two, do you have any questions? I am going to help you with a 90 minute laser focused coaching session. Just me, just you and your business, just us. And this coaching call is going to be for whatever you need. Where do you need to excel? Where are you stuck? What's keeping you blocked? What don't you know that you wish you knew? You have 90 minutes of my time. We're gonna give you everything that you need and want in those 90 minutes. So click the link above right in this video. Grab your spot for your 90 minute call. It's only 197 for you, okay? I made a special deal. 197 for 90 laser focused minutes and it's on um, a Saturday so that we don't interfere with your work week. So grab the spot, tag your friends, let your team know that they can do this and get them into the group. I wish you much success and grab your call. Bye for now.